Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss binomial theorem for negative integer or fractional index approximations and evaluation of root. First of all, let us discuss binomial theorem for negative integer or fractional index. Now the binomial theorem holds good even when the index is a negative integer or a fraction. So for all values of n negative or fractional or both 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 the whole over 1 into 2 into x square plus n into n minus 1 the whole into n minus 2 the whole whole upon 1 into 2 into 3 into x cube plus so on up to infinity where mod of x is less than 1. Now there are some points to remember. When n is a negative integer or a fraction. Now we have discussed this as the binomial expansion of 1 plus x whole raised to power n where n is a negative integer or a fraction and where x is a real number. Now we know that the binomial theorem when n is a positive integer and x and y are real numbers is given by this result which is x plus y whole raised to power n is equal to summation n c r into x raised to power n minus r into y raised to power r where r varies from 0 to n but when n is a negative integer or a fraction then in that case the symbols n c naught n c 1 and C2 and so on are not used as they become meaningless because they have a meaning only when n is a positive integer. And secondly, this expansion contains infinite number of terms. And the expansion is valid only when x is numerically less than 1, that is, the second term in the binomial expression 1 plus x on the left hand side is less than 1 numerically, that is, when mod of x is less than 1. That is, the second term on the binomial expression on the left hand side is less than 1 numerically. And this condition is absolutely essential. Now let us discuss this with the help of an example. Now let us expand 1 minus x all raised to power minus 3 when x is equal to 3 that is we have taken x numerically greater than 1 so by using the binomial expansion when n is a negative integer 1 minus x all raised to power minus 3 will be equal to 1 plus nx that is 
1 plus minus 3 into minus x the whole plus n into n minus 1 that is minus 3 into minus 3 minus 1 the whole whole upon 1 into 2 into x square that is minus x whole square plus so on. Now we have taken x is equal to 3. Therefore for x is equal to 3 it will be 1 minus 3 whole raised to power minus 3 which is equal to 1 plus minus 3 the whole into minus 3 the whole plus minus 3 into minus 4 the whole into minus 3 whole square whole upon 2 plus so on. Further this implies minus 2 raised to power minus 3 is equal to 1 plus 9 plus 6 into 9 plus so on which is an absurd as minus 2 whole raised to power minus 3 cannot be equal to this expression so from this we can conclude that whenever x is numerically equal to or greater than 1 the expansion may be invalid. That is in this case we have taken x is equal to 3 which is numerically greater than 1 and we have applied the binomial expansion when n is a negative integer and we have got a result which is an absurd. Therefore we can say that for the value of x which is numerically equal or greater than 1 the expansion is invalid. So the expansion is valid only when mod of x is less than 1. That is whenever x is numerically less than 1. Now in the expansion of a plus x whole raised to power n the first term should be made unity if it is different from 1 that is a plus x whole raised to power n will be equal to a raised to power n that is taking a raised to power m common it will be a raised to power m into 1 plus x over a whole raised to power n and then the expansion for this is valid only when the numerical value of x over a is less than 1 that is mod of x over a is less than 1 and also a plus x whole raised to power m can be written as now taking x raised to power m common it will be x raised to power m into 1 plus a over x whole raised to power m and the expansion for this is valid only when the numerical value of a over x is less than 1 that is mod of a over x is less than 1 and now let us discuss approximations. Now in the extension of 1 plus x whole raised to power m which is equal to 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 the whole over 1 into 2 into x square plus m into n minus 1 the whole into n minus 2 the whole whole upon 1 into 2 into 3 into x cube plus so on where mod of x is less than 1 now as x is less than 1 so the terms of this expansion go on decreasing and if x is very small a stage may be reached when we may neglect the terms containing higher powers of x of the expansion
Thus, if x be so small that it squares and higher powers will be neglected, then 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to 1 plus nx. So if x is so small that its squares and higher powers may be neglected, then 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to 1 plus nx, that is the terms containing the squares and the higher powers may be neglected when x is so small. So 1 plus x whole raised to power n is equal to 1 plus nx. So this value is approximate value of 1 plus x whole raised to power n. Now let us discuss an example and that is if x be so small that its squares and higher powers may be neglected, find the approximate value of 1 minus 3 by 2x whole raised to power minus 3. Now the approximate value of 1 minus 3 by 2 into x whole raised to power minus 3 is now using this result of approximation so the approximate value of 1 minus 3 by 2 x whole raised to power minus 3 is 1 plus m which is minus 3 into minus 3 by 2 into x which is equal to 1 plus 9 by 2 into x that is when x is so small that its squares and high powers will be neglected then the approximate value of 1 minus 3 by 2 into x whole raised to power minus 3 is 1 plus 9 by 2 into x. And now let us discuss evaluation of a root. Now suppose we have to find the pth root of any number q. Then we express the number q in the form x raised to power p plus y where x raised to power p is nearest to the number q and y which is either positive or negative is very small in comparison to x raised to power p. Therefore, q raised to power 1 by p is equal to x raised to power p plus y whole raised to power 1 by p which can be written as x raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p into 1 plus y over x raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p. Now, on expanding 1 plus y over x raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p by using the binomial expansion an approximate value of the root that is the approximate value of this can be obtained. Now let us discuss an example. In this we have to find the square root of 901 up to 5 decimal places. Now for finding the square root of 901 first of all 
We will write 901 as 900 plus 1. Therefore, 901 can be written as, now 900 can be written as 30 raised to power 2 plus 1. So we have written 901 in the form x raised to power p plus y that is 30 square plus 1 where 30 square which is equal to 900 is nearest to 901 and 1 is very small in comparison to 30 raised to power 2. Now, the square root of 901 can be written as 901 whole raised to power 1 by 2 which is further equal to 30 raised to power 2 plus 1 whole raised to power 1 by 2. Now, 30 raised to power 2 plus 1 whole raised to power 1 by 2 will be equal to Now taking 30 raised to power 2 common, so it will be 30 square whole raised to power 1 by 2 into 1 plus 1 over 30 raised to power 2 whole raised to power 1 by 2 which is further equal to 30 into Now for this we will apply the binomial expansion Now here n is 1 by 2 and x is 1 by 30 square. So it will be 1 plus nx that is 1 plus 1 by 2 into 1 by 30 square plus n into n minus 1 the whole whole upon 1 into 2 into x square that is 1 by 30 square whole square plus so on. Now this is further equal to 30 into 1 plus 1 over 2 into 9 into 10 square plus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 9 into 9 into 1 by 10 raised to power 4 plus so on. Further this is equal to 30 into 1 plus 1 over 18 into 10 raised to power 2 minus 1 over 8 into 1 over 81 into 1 over 10 raised to power 4 plus so on which is equal to 30 into 1 Plus, now on solving, this we will get 0 0.00055 minus and on solving this, we will get 0 0.00000154 plus so on. Further, on solving this, this is equal to 30 into 1.005498468 the whole which is further equal to 30.0164953H which is equal to 30.0165953 five decimal places. Therefore, 
the square root of 901 is equal to 30.01650 correct to 5 decimal places. So for the evaluation of root, we will proceed with the steps which are mentioned in this example. So in this session, you have learned about binomial theorem for negative or fractional index and then the approximations and then evaluation of a root. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.